Hey there, my name's Dave. Welcome to SB Academy, and today we're learning how to drop in. Welcome to my tutorial on how to drop in on a skateboard. We're going to break this video into different segments. We're going to talk about what a drop in is, how to do a drop in safely, how to analyze what might be going wrong, and then at the very end, I'm going to show you some really cool tricks that you can think about learning later once you've got your drop in. So definitely check out all the parts and let's get started with learning how to drop in. Now for this trick, please, please, please be as comfortable as you can on your board, but also please make sure you wear the necessary protection. Protect your head, your wrists, your knees. It's way better to wear protection just in case something goes wrong than to fall over and slam really hard. The drop in be where you rest the board on the tail on the top of the ramp and then you lean over your front truck to ride into that ramp. And the technique is the same no matter what size ramp it is, whether that be a flat bank or a transition, which could be a quarter pipe or a half pipe or a mini ramp, but it's the most common way of going down a ramp because it gets you loads of speed ready for your next trick. So once you get this technique down, you can use it on any ramp, but definitely start small and work your way up. The drop-in is an essential part of learning to skateboard because it's gonna help you in all skate parks, on all ramps. It's gonna help you get the speed you need to do the tricks you wanna do. Here's an example. I wanna crooked grind up this ledge, which requires a lot of speed to do so. So what I'll use is the quarter pipe to the left of it to drop in and get the speed I need to be able to grind up that ledge. Now I remember when I first learned to drop in, it was so scary and I'm sure for many of you out there trying this, it is a really scary thing to try. But when I learned it, it was actually because my little brother learned it before me. I tried 16 times and I just wasn't getting it and then my little brother came along, he tried it, got it and I was just like, I want to get this so bad. So then I did it. It was a really good motivation. The good news is this tutorial is gonna give you all the technique you need and help you understand how to do it safely. And doing it safely is the most important thing. So pay attention, definitely keep an eye out towards the end of the video as well for things that commonly go wrong uh, and let's land this together. Now to be able to drop in, you need a ramp of some sort, ideally a small one, it can be a flat bank, it can be a quarter pipe. You also need to be able to ride your board comfortably. Please, 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 please make sure you feel really comfortable on your board. Ride up and down ramps, ride through the streets, get as much experience on that board as possible before trying to drop in. Ideally as well, you want to be able to pump on a ramp. That will help you understand the last part of the drop in. But definitely get as much time on your board as possible before going for a drop in. Like all of my trick tips, I'm going to break this down into three simple steps. This is going to help you understand the trick, but also help you analyze what you need to work on to really get this trick down. Now the three parts to a drop in are your body and feet position, the lean and absorbing. So we're going to go through those three parts right now. Step one, body and feet position. Your feet placement should be this. Your back foot on the tail, right up against the edge, ideally the curve of your foot matching the curve of the tail, and your front foot on the bolts. This is gonna give you the widest stance possible, which basically means you're gonna have the most balance possible. The wider your feet are, the more balanced you are. And this is really gonna help us when dropping in to make sure we don't slip over backwards or fall off our board. Let's talk about your body. So your head is your center of balance. Notice how my head is directly over my back foot when I'm standing at the top of the ramp. This means that my body won't accidentally fall into the ramp because as long as my head is over my back foot and my back foot is planted on the top of that ramp, I could stand there all day long. I'm gonna make sure my front foot is on the bolts and you want your shoulders in line with the board to ensure you go in a straight line when you drop in. Step two leaning in. This is the most, most, most important step in the drop-in. Even if you have poor foot positioning, or even if you don't absorb the drop-in, if your technique for leaning is good, then you have a great chance of landing this trick. 
Now, the secret sauce for leaning properly is shifting your head over your front foot as you start the drop-in. This commits your body to leaning into the ramp. Now, when I hear people at the skate park giving advice to everybody, everyone seems to give the same advice. Slam those front wheels down. And there is an element of truth to that. But here is the real secret. Your head is the most important part of the drop-in. If your head is in the right place, you will have the balance you need. But even if you slam those front wheels down, if your head isn't in the right place, you're gonna slam. Also, the motion of slamming your front foot down can also cause you to be off balance and fall over. Check out the next section about common mistakes to see how slamming your front foot onto the board and slamming those front wheels down can actually cause you to fall off the board when trying to drop in. Now I'm not hating on anybody who's given the advice of slamming the front wheels down because it can be a really useful technique to get your weight into the right place and helps you visualize what you need to do. But just be aware that your head is the real secret source to land in this trick. The most common problem is that people don't commit to leaning forwards. And even though they go into the ramp, they start to lean backwards and they fall hard. But this is the key to the trick. You must lean forwards and get your head over your front foot to be able to lean into the ramp and ride down balanced. Step three, absorbing the landing. If you've managed to commit to leaning forwards enough that your head goes over your front foot, you should be now leaning into the ramp. And like any skateboard trick, you want to land with a little bit of suspension in your legs. And this will help make sure you don't slip out or lean back again. So once your front wheels connect, crouch a little bit to absorb that momentum and ride out the ramp fully balanced. As you get better at this, this also then allows you to pump out of the drop-in, which gets you even more speed. Now that you know the proper technique, let's use these practice exercises to make sure you're ready for your first transition. The first exercise, we're gonna practice the drop-in technique on flat ground. Simply stand on your board, on the floor, in drop-in position. So your head's over your back foot, front foot's on the bolts, and what you're gonna do here is you're gonna practice moving your head over from your back foot to your front foot. And you're gonna practice shifting your weight and pushing those front wheels down. And you're gonna keep doing this until you feel really comfortable and you feel like you've got a bit of power behind that movement. Once you've done that, you can move on to the second exercise. Now this next exercise is to practice the drop-in motion on a flat bank. This is easier than doing it in transition because it's one gradient. It's gonna keep your speed fairly consistent the whole way down. Whereas on a transition, you speed up quite quickly. If your skate park has multiple flat banks, try them on as many different flat banks as possible, but definitely start on the smallest one. But keep the technique the same. Think about your feet and body position, think about leaning forwards, and then think about absorbing that drop in as you ride into the ramp. Now, if you feel comfortable with all of that, find a quarter pipe and give it a try. Just remember to lean forwards, remember the technique, and you should be nice and safe. Even if you fall off a couple of times, just don't lean back. Now, this is one of those tricks that can come with a fear barrier, something that prevents you from doing the trick, even though you know the technique, because you're worried about what might go wrong. So don't rush the trick, and definitely, definitely don't try it because someone is telling you to. Do it when you feel ready and keep using those practice exercises to get ready for your first drop-in. And if that means going to other skate parks to find other flat banks, try it. Just do whatever you need to get ready to try it on a quarter pipe. Now let's analyze what can potentially go wrong and how to fix it. One of the most common problems with dropping in is being off balance. Now this normally comes from your feet and body position being slightly off. We know that as we're riding down the ramp, our head is gonna go back between our legs as if we was riding normally on the floor. And if your feet are quite close together, this becomes a real challenge. So make sure you've got that nice wide stance for maximum balance before trying the drop-in. Another main reason people don't land a drop-in is simply not leaning forwards enough. 
If your front wheels don't connect or the board shoots out in front of you, then you know you haven't leant forwards enough. Make sure you get your head over your front foot as you lean into the ramp. Another issue can be that your board veers off to the side rather than going down in a straight line. This is likely due to your shoulders. Look at how my shoulders turning either way affects the drop in. Remember to drop in with your shoulders in line with your skateboard and that will ensure you drop in in a straight line nice and safe. The last common problem is too much focus on slamming your front truck down and not enough on your body leaning in. Here we can see how a lot of power can limit your control. The slamming of the front foot causes the board to wiggle or move so it becomes harder to drop in. And here we see how even putting loads of power into the front foot doesn't guarantee you'll lean forwards into the ramp properly. Try to have your front foot resting on the bolts and your head over your back foot to start with. Then commit to moving your head, which is your center of balance, over your front foot and lean into that ramp. Now let's look at how the drop-in can be used as a trick and give you ideas of tricks to learn in the future. Now, like always, like every YouTuber, I'm gonna ask you to like, subscribe, comment, and that's because the more people do that, the more skateboarders will find this video. So please, please, please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell, all the things, because I would love for as many skateboarders to listen to this tutorial in case it helps them land their trick safely. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope this helps you learn how to drop in because it's essential and when you master it, it's so much fun to get loads of speed going through the park. Skateboarding is one of my biggest passions. I, I can't emphasize enough how much it's changed my life and I really hope you enjoy skateboarding however you skateboard, whether that be flat ground, in parks and half pipes, just even down the street. I really hope you get loads out of the sport and you enjoy the community and everything good that the sport offers. I have an Instagram if you want to check out what tricks I'm learning at the moment. I've got a TikTok if you want to see funny videos uh, like me skateboarding in a T-Rex costume things like that so check out all of my social media uh, hopefully you see something you like and I've definitely got more tutorials coming so send me comments if there's anything in particular you want to see but once again thank you so much keep skating keep being kind peace